Warrior Mom Fitness. We are road tripping back to Denver right now from San Diego. Got some peace and quiet as my kids are sleeping in the car and watching a movie. So I wanted to share this workout that I did in San Diego with you guys. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks. All right, first we have deadlifts. And uh, my husband and I were driving to the gym together and on the way I just felt the butterflies in my stomach. I felt the anxiety building as I knew that I had deadlifts first when I got to the gym. It is uh, such a challenging exercise, but at the same time, it's probably one of the most beneficial and rewarding exercises that you can do. Today, I actually got a personal record when I did it. I got it to 185, and I've never gotten that before. The most I've done is 175, so I was pretty proud of that accomplishment. We've been eating a few extra calories on our vacation in San Diego, so it might be uh, credited to, to my carne asada burrito. But nonetheless, I did it. Felt pretty amazing. Always make sure that when you do a deadlift that you don't try to throw tons of weight on it when you're not confident and sure of it yet. Be patient. It takes a long time to add weight on a bar for deadlift. The biggest thing is keeping that back flat, protecting it. Did three sets of eight reps at 185. Finish that up. The next exercise I did was I went into a landmine row. Great exercise to kill that back. Using your mid back muscles and your lats to pull that bar up. And I love as I have to hold that little mini air chair. Works my butt a little bit as well. A lot of grip strength on deadlifts and landmine rows. Really taxing kind of on your forearm, but making your grip stronger and stronger. So going into pull-ups after those two exercises, my grip's already a little bit tired. Um, so after landmine rows, I did three sets of landmine rows, and then I went into pull-ups, and I did three sets of pull-ups. I got on my first set, I want to say I almost got 12, but really it's probably really nine solid pull-ups. And the last few were barely pull-ups but I always try to squeeze out as many as I can. If I was fresh, if I started with pull-ups, I maybe could have gotten a 15, but uh, my grip was a little bit a little bit tired. So I alternated the pull-ups in between um, the next exercise. So I'm back and forth. I did three sets of pull-ups. The first set I got 12, I think the second I got 10, and maybe eight on the last set. So the next exercise I did was, uh, was ball hamstring curls and bridges, and I, I alternated those with the pull-ups kind of give my grip a little bit of a break. I love these exercises, these ball exercises for my butt. I just feel like it's such a butt blaster and you totally feel it the next day. And I know we all love a tired butt the next day. But because deadlifts work so much butt too, you can tell I'm struggling a little bit on those. And after I did the pull-ups and the ball stuff, I went into single Romanian um, deadlift. I did 55 pound little short barbell, 10 reps on each leg. I love to keep my back leg, the leg that's up in the air as straight as I can. So I really get the contraction through my glutes and hamstrings. Finish with these uh, single RDLs. I go into a bent over barbell row. I just use the same barbell. Superset those single RDLs with the barbell bent over rows. I got 10 of those in, and I also did 10 of the single RDLs too on that superset. And I did each. I do um, three sets of those of 10 reps. So much for watching my video that's just one of the many workouts I love to do if you guys want a full program set up for you message me I'd love to help you guys out thanks so much again for watching and go be the warrior mom that you can be have a great day